Hey, this is Pranav Gukarni and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Jenkins server using Ansible remotely. So I have two VMs currently running. One is for Ansible and the other is for Jenkins. Um, on my Ansible server, on my Ansible VM, I have an Ansible server already configured, which means Ansible is installed and I have a playbook which is going to set up Jenkins on a remote VM, uh, which will be this one, Jenkins default. Um, so on my right hand side here in my terminal, uh, this is my Jenkins VM. As you can see, I don't have anything present here. It's simple bare bones Ubuntu image. I don't even have Java installed. Cool, and on my left hand side, I have the Ansible VM uh, where I already have Ansible installed and I, ha I have the Jenkins YAML playbook which is going to run a few tasks to, to get all the prerequisites, install Jenkins and also configure Jenkins to be able to run a job. So let me go ahead and actually run this. Um, Jenkins YAML file playbook. Cool, so here is the exact playbook that I have just for your reference. Um, the first few tasks would be basically to install JDK 8. Um, it starts off with getting the app repository, updating its app get and accepting JDK 8 license and finally installing Oracle Java 8. So let's wait until Java 8 gets installed. Still waiting for JDK 8 to get installed. This task also sets up Java environment variables. Cool, so it looks like Java is installed. Let's see. There it is, and also Git. Cool, so Git and Java are both installed on my Jenkins VM. Now it's actually trying to install Jenkins. Sweet, so Jenkins is installed and we've also started Jenkins, but we just may, we may want to wait for a few seconds so that Jenkins gets initialized and the port 8080 um, is the port where Jenkins is running and the playbook should be able to listen to that port and then move ahead with the next task of setting up plugins and 
changing the configuration of Jenkins. Cool, so we have disabled the setup wizard that you usually see when you log in for the first time. We don't need that. Cool, so it has actually gone ahead and downloaded the Jenkins CLI jar and also um, it has retrieved the password for initial admin login. Uh, the next few steps would be to actually install some important plugins like Git plugin and Maven plugin. Uh, these plugins are important so that we can automatically um, check out or clone the repo and also build a job using Maven. Uh, there are some really cool tasks here, which is to basically wait for the Maven plugin file to be available here. Um, I may just, I would just like to show you quickly um, in Jenkins plugins. So we have all the plugins and their dependencies installed. And now it's actually copying the XML file to create a new job and also um, in, in, in this last task here it's actually creating uh, the new job so looks like all the tasks have run successfully let's quickly go to Jenkins Cool, so it's simply asking for username and password. I'm going to pick my password here and I've got admin password and there we are in Jenkins and we have the JSP demo job already set up through Ansible. So uh, this job is completely configured. I can simply go ahead and hit build now, which will simply start running this job. So let's see, let's take a quick look at this build. So as you can see, it's actually cloning the repository JSP demo and it has Maven and all the required um, prerequisites already installed for this particular job to run and let's wait for the job to complete Sweet. So the build has completed successfully after running a compile test and package goals of Maven. So this is how we basically set up a Jenkins server using Ansible remotely. And all you have to do is simply go and click build. Um, th that's how easy it is. Um, thank you for watching. Bye bye.